Hello again. Greece has once again been hit by mass protests, but this time it's not about the economy. Parties and unions are holding nationwide anti-fascist demonstrations. Meantime, Greek police are continuing to investigate dozens of alleged fascist attacks by members of the country's far-right Golden Dawn Party. Let's talk about this now with Dr Nick Skrekas. He's an economist and international lawyer. Joining us on the line indeed from Athens. Very good evening to you, sir. Thanks for being with us. This uh, latest out break of anger was sparked by the murder of a left-wing rapper last week but there are reports of, of at least 300 similar attacks in the last couple of years why has it taken so long to act do you think well Kevin uh, the Greek political system isn't known for its speed it's been about 14 months since the last elections where they were shocked by the high level of voting popularity for Golden Dawn now in terms of uh, attacks that we've seen before you're absolutely right there's probably at least about 300 but this one this one sort of scaled up quite a bit and it was an attack against a greek and they murdered him so this is far more serious and people just can't uh, stomach this any longer so there's a lot of pressure on both the political system and the police to act and act decisively well golden dawn's been making significant inroads lately how's it been selling itself Actually, Kevin, it's been very, very intelligent in the way that it markets itself to your average Greek, particularly the ones living in the inner cities that have a problem with illegal immigrants, crime, prostitution, uh, gun running. And so they, they are seen as a force for safety in inner, in inner suburban neighborhoods. Further than that, they also have a very intelligent way of looking out for special cases, e.g., you know, a cancer patient who can't get drugs, they'll go in and help out. But of course, this is just a mask for a very ugly paramilitary group and a very ugly ideology behind it. But the public seem to be buying it. They are buying it, but you know what? Since the murder of this rapper, we've seen a drastic drop in their popularity ratings according to uh, voting pollsters. Let's see how this pans out. It could be the turning point for them to a downward spiral. Also these allegations too that somewhere along the line uh, m members of this party have been trained by the army. Now that's an investigation that's ongoing. How's that investigation progressing? It's uh, progressing slowly but you don't expect things like that to happen overnight. There is uh, a lot of information and a lot of innuendo that many special forces officers and quite a few junior officers are very much sympathizers of Golden Dawn and so they may have volunteered to actually train some of the paramilitary groups. And the government's now proposing a ban on Golden Dawn, isn't it? But I guess with a lot of things, the more you try and stop it, the more it makes more inroads. How is that ban progressing? How's that been uh, reacted to? Kevin, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. You know, if you ban them outrightly, you'll just drive them underground and you may make martyrs of them. I think what may end up happening is that their state funding as a party may be cut and that will hurt them. And of course, if they actually bolster some of the hate speech uh, legislation, that could take the oxygen away from them and uh, keep them contained. Nick, thanks for your thoughts. Dr. Nick Schreckers, here, economist and international lawyer on the line from Athens. Thank you.